the federal government is pleased to announce the release of Australia's first naval shipbuilding plan. The plan describes a strong, sustainable and innovative naval shipbuilding and sustainment industry, a strategic national asset to deliver our continuous shipbuilding programs. The build programs will be enabled by investment and reforms in infrastructure, workforce and the industrial ecosystem and will be achieved through a national approach to this endeavour. Two principal shipbuilding yards will deliver the continuous build programs. Submarines and major surface vessels will be constructed at Osborne Shipyard in South Australia, while minor naval vessels will be constructed at Henderson in Western Australia. The plan represents a generations-long approach to protect Australia's defence interests through our future naval capability. Work has already commenced on construction of the Pacific Patrol Boats in Henderson, Western Australia. Upgrades at the Osborne South Shipyard will commence in 2017, with a $535 million investment in infrastructure to build major surface combatants. The government will invest an initial $25 million to establish a naval shipbuilding college in South Australia, supported by education and training providers across Australia. The Henderson Maritime Precinct will likely require infrastructure upgrades for future construction and sustainment activities. Government has directed that construction of the offshore patrol vessels is to commence at Osborne South alongside the completion of the Air Warfare Destroyer Program. Current infrastructure at Osborne North is optimised for sustainment of the Collins fleet. It will require development to support future submarine construction from around 2022-23. Careful planning will be required to manage concurrent activities at Osborne South. For example, the completion of the AWD program will occur at the same time as infrastructure upgrades are taking place for the future frigate program. This is a national endeavour involving all states and territories, defence industry and the education and training sector, working together to generate an appropriately skilled naval shipbuilding workforce in Australia. The workforce is expected to reach over 5,000, with many more in sustainment and supply chains. By late 2020, Henderson upgrades will be complete, in time to accommodate the transition of the OPV build program from Osborne Shipyard in South Australia. Meanwhile, the first of class OPV will be delivered by late 2020, at approximately the same time as the future frigate construction program commences at Osborne. By late 2022, the second OPV will have been completed at Osborne South, marking the full transition of the build program to Henderson in Western Australia. The future submarine rolling acquisition program will commence in the early 2020s and will be implemented alongside the completion of infrastructure upgrades at Osborne North. The first of class future frigate will be delivered by the mid-2020s with eight more to follow. By the early 2030s, all three build programs will have reached full production and output levels. The final OPV will be delivered during the early 2030s, at which point ongoing production of minor naval vessel replacement programs can continue at Henderson. A major warship replacement program will commence by the early 2040s at Osborne South as part of the continuous build program. On current planning, the final future frigate is expected to be delivered by the mid-2040s. The Naval Shipbuilding Plan reflects the vital importance of naval capability to Australia's security, as outlined in the Government's 2016 Defence White Paper. 
The plan is a key part of the government's national science and innovation agenda and ongoing commitment to Australian jobs and growth.